to. When you turn on your radio today, you can honestly know that Bob Marley had a huge influence on music. Starting in the ghetto known as Trenchtown in the city of Kingston and his beloved kind of country, Jamaica, he, he started his journey through his life and his journey to fame. Just like many others, I will never get to meet him. And if I was to smoke some pot again in my life, I'd probably spark, spark one up, up, up with this guy. <laughs> First hearing his music when I was in high school, uh, I, I really liked it, and I still listen to his soul grabbing music today. Collecting my info from magazines such as Rolling Stones, High Times, and Bio True, True Story, I've come to, I feel like I've come to know him on a more personal level, and his interesting life is, I don't know, it's just touching. I'm going to tell you about his short life starting in 1945, his pursuit to his musical success, and the tragedy um, that he lost his life in 1981. Bob's contributions to society in general are remarkable. He inspired many different types of music, and he made it more socially acceptable for people who like to smoke pot. His childhood friend inspired him to learn how to play guitar. <laughs> Booty Pat, 2012, from Bio True Story. Developing the, the Wailing Rudy Boys in the 60s, he um, started his journey to his musical career. And he sold over 20 million copies of uh, from all his records. His birth was in February 6, 1945, in Trenchtown, Kingston, Jamaica. His big break was in, was in 1972, and his music still loved, loved today, obviously. His musical career was anything but ordinary. He traveled to the US, UK, and Africa just for his own personal gain. Selling over 20 million copies, uh, I'm pretty sure that anybody in this room who was an artist would love to do that. Bob was diagnosed with a form of cancer in his toe that later took his life in Miami, Florida, 1981. His legacy lives on in magazines such as Rolling Stones, High Times, and any other, other musical form that you can read. Before his death, he was awarded the Order of Merit from the Jamaican government and the Medal of Peace from the UK. And over 30 to 30,000 people since sent him off as a hero from Jamaica. He didn't have an easy life by any means. Born in the ghetto in the third world country, to the hardships of becoming an artist, he, he left a legacy that will never be forgotten. He helped develop many, many types of music. making it more so socially acceptable for people who would like to enjoy the smoke pot. <laughs> and uh, I guess I'll, I'll end it off with, he said, emancipating yourselves from mental slavery, none but ourselves can be can free your mind. Bob Marley. Thank you.